two-point linear perspective presented by the Los Altos Art Docents. Today we will be drawing a three-dimensional scene on a two-dimensional piece of paper using a T-square. To begin, hook the T-square on the side of the paper to draw a perfectly horizontal line. You'll notice that the T-square does not go the full width of your paper, so you'll need to flip the T-square to the other side, hook it on again, and continue this horizontal line. Select two vanishing points on either side of your paper, close to the edge. Hook your T-square on the bottom of the paper to create a perfectly vertical line, which will be the corner of our first building. This line should extend above the line of horizon. From the bottom of this line, to each vanishing point, draw a line. These lines are called orthogonal lines. Do the same from the top. It now appears as if we have a corner of a building that goes on and on forever, but we want to create depth to our building. So hooking the T-square on the bottom of the paper, decide how deep you want your building to go and draw two perfectly vertical lines for either side of the building. Now you can erase the parts of the orthogonal lines that go from the edge of the building to the vanishing points. You'll see we don't need these and it's important to draw lightly so that you don't have as much erasing to do. You can also erase the line of horizon, which would be behind the building. And as you do this, you can see how your building just pops. Now we're going to draw our second building. This building will be a building that's below the line of horizon. So let's start by drawing the corner of the building using a vertical line hooking the T-square on the bottom of the page. But this time the line will not cross the line of horizon. Since our orthogonal line on the right side of the paper is already drawn, all we have to do is draw the orthogonal line to the left vanishing point. From the top of our building, let's draw two orthogonal lines to the vanishing points on either side. You'll notice I'm not going all the way to the left here, but I'm holding the ruler so that it would continue this line all the way. It'll reduce the amount of erasing I have to do later. Now let's give this building depth by doing two vertical lines between these orthogonal lines. Now we can erase the orthogonal lines that are outside the building. And since this building is below the line of horizon, we'll actually see the roof of this building. To draw the roof, line up your T-square from the back side of the building and to the vanishing point on the opposite side and draw an orthogonal line. Now line your T-square up on the other corner and draw an orthogonal line to the opposite vanishing point. Erase the lines that are outside and voila, you have a building top. Now let's add some doors and windows. Hook your T-square on the bottom of the page to draw two vertical lines for the sides of a doorway. For the top, we'll do an orthogonal line that goes to the vanishing point on the right side of the paper. You'll see those lines are parallel to the lines of the street. Now let's do some windows on the other side of the page, making perfectly vertical lines, and then orthogonal lines for the tops and the bottoms of these windows, which will be orthogonal lines going to the vanishing point on the left side of the page. So we're drawing all vertical and orthogonal lines using our T-square. If the object is on the left side of the page, the tops and bottoms will be orthogonal lines to the left side, and if it's on the right side of the building, there'll be orthogonal lines to the vanishing point on the right side of the building. Now let's create an opening in this building that looks like you can walk right through it. So let's draw two perfectly vertical lines, and then using the T-square, an orthogonal line that goes to the vanishing point on the right side. Now we need the corner where the back wall meets the floor, and as this line is parallel to the street on the left, it will be an orthogonal line to the vanishing point on the left. To make a sign, start by drawing a window. and Make sure that all of the vertical parts of your letter are vertical with your T-square. It may be helpful for you to draw an individual box for each of your letters to get your spacing properly. 
you'll see that letters towards the end of a word will actually be smaller as they disappear towards the vanishing point. Let's add some sidewalks to our drawing. We'll draw orthogonal lines that are parallel to the lines on our street, which means that on the left side, it'll be an orthogonal line to the left vanishing point, and on the right side, it'll be an orthogonal line to the right vanishing point. From here, we'll draw the sidewalk blocks and hooking our T-square on the vanishing point on the left side, radiate out from this vanishing point to create orthogonal lines on the right side of our sidewalk. And we'll do the same on the left side. Now let's put in a street. We'll draw two orthogonal lines to show the outer edge of the street. One on the right side and one on the left side. And let's see, what can we add now? Uh, how about maybe some trees somewhere? Um, let's put some trees over here. So I'd like to put in some vertical lines that are guidelines for my trunks. And then I add orthogonal lines to show the bottom point where the foliage on the trees will be and the top point of the foliage. Then I come in and actually freehand my trunks because trunks are actually natural, they're not perfectly straight, but I can use those vertical guidelines so my trunks will be in perspective. And then using those orthogonal guidelines, draw in the foliage of the trees. Now let's get creative and add some additional buildings to our drawing. You can stack these or put them next to each other, but we will always start with a vertical line that is the corner of the building that's closest to us. Then we draw orthogonal lines from the bottom of this line to the left side and the right side, and then from the top to the left and the right, and then draw two perfectly vertical lines for the backs of the building. And we can erase all the lines that we don't need anymore. So let's draw a sign for our new building. We'll start by drawing a trapezoid using our T-square to draw vertical lines for the sides and orthogonal lines for the tops and bottoms and our guidelines. Make sure that all of the parts of your letters that are vertical, you actually use the T-square for. Hooked on the bottom of the page. And let's make a movie theater sign. So I did a midpoint guideline for the lowercase letters. And what we'll be playing, let's see. Uh, how about Batman? Let's get that in. Now let's add some more details to our drawing. Let's make this door a double-sided door. And our vertical line to separate each of the doors will be a little bit off center. The one that's closest to us will be a little bit bigger. It'll appear a little bit bigger. And we can add some handles. These handles will be orthogonal lines. Now let's add an awning above this window. Since we already have the window drawn, we'll start with the corner of the awning that's closest to us. And this will be a rare line that will not be orthogonal. But from the bottom of that, we'll draw an orthogonal line to the vanishing point on the left side. And then for the back of the awning, we'll draw a line that's parallel to that corner. Then we will draw an orthogonal line from the corner that's closest to us to the vanishing point on the right side, as this line is actually parallel to the right street. Let's fill out our drawing on the right side by adding some bushes that kind of go along the road and disappear into the line of horizon. So I'll start with an orthogonal line as my guideline, and then I'll draw some vegetation, some little circular bushes in there, and erase that guideline after I'm done with that. Now let's put in a driveway between our buildings. Um, we can draw this, since it's parallel to the street on the left, with orthogonal lines that go to the left-hand vanishing point. And maybe we'll put in a window on our building here using orthogonal lines to the left vanishing point and perfectly vertical lines for the sides of those windows. Oh, and we forgot to erase those blocks of the sidewalk to get to our driveway so our cars can go directly 
into that driveway. Let's draw our center lines for our roads, and there are two ways to do this. I can either draw an orthogonal dashed line as I get further from the vanishing point, those lines are going to get longer, or I can draw one continuous line and then come back with my eraser and erase little segments. And the closer we get to that vanishing point, the smaller these lines are going to get. So how about adding some mountains now? Uh, we'll have to remember that our mountains will overlap. The ones that are closest to us will overlap the ones that are a little further away from us. So in this lesson, we've covered the drawing in two-point perspective. In our next lesson, we will learn how to add color and shading to our final masterpiece.